Hi everyone, I'm here to do another Dollar Tree haul and this Dollar Tree haul was pretty successful. I only disliked one thing, but I'm not really sure if I got a bad batch because yeah. Okay, so we'll start with food items, kitchen items, um, I guess I have one cleaning item and health and beauty. So, okay, let's start. The first thing that we got that we ended up loving, I know I've seen so many people haul these. You guys love these. You guys keep saying, get them, I love them. And I've seen them, but I never tried them until now. And they are the New York Stock Mini Vegas. And you're right, you guys are right. They're amazing. And the first one we tried was the, uh, the barbecue flavor. And we actually put these in our salad. I guess like croutons, they have the same texture. And this, the barbecue flavor made the salad taste so much better. So now, ever since then, we've been putting this in our salad, in every single one of our salads. So it has to replace croutons. We love this so much that we haven't tried these. The day after I bought this, I bought four more. And we already emptied three bags. We eat salad for every meal. <laughs> yeah, so we eat salad for every meal. So we I put about like five or four of these um, as croutons on the salad and we've already gone through. And it's only been a week. It's only been a week and we've already gone through three. This is still semi no. This is halfway full. So this one's almost done. So we only have this and this left. So I bought a total of five of the barbecue and we love it. It is A plus, get them. They're amazing. You guys are so right. I will tell you if I love these, but I'm pretty sure I will. They, those were so good. I'm excited. So now our salads are gonna have different flavors because of this mini bagels. And they're in the exact same size of like the croutons uh, in other stores. Like this is 5.5 ounces. Actually, it's more. Is it? Let's see, how much is the croutons I usually buy? Yeah, most of the croutons I buy are like five ounces. So this is equivalent. And these taste amazing. It's as if you're not even eating a salad. Like it's not even that healthy, but it is because you're eating a salad. Anyways, I really, really love these. I was so pleased with these. Okay, next thing I got are these cheese noodles puffs. Accidentally, I wanted the uh, spicy and honey ones. Those I like. You guys saw me get them in my last haul and I wanted to get another one, but the packaging is very similar. So what I'm gonna do with these is save them when my brother and my sister visit. They like these, but I don't like the normal ones. Next thing I got that I, the only one item I was disappointed with was this. I'm not sure if it's because I got like a bad batch because they were pretty like stale. Like the texture was like kind of hard. I felt like I was, I don't know. It felt like it was old and I was like, oh, maybe I got a bad batch. So I'm gonna buy another one and see if um, it'll get better. You know, cause I did like the taste. I just didn't like the texture. So that one was my one disappointment with this Dollar Tree haul, which is not bad cause I got, about, I got several items. Okay, okay. The next thing I got are, are repurchases. I had already gotten the Zesty Season Salt Blazing Lens and I love these. This is my third, third one, third. Yes, it's good, it's good. Like, I was so shocked. And you see how much you get? You get 9.5 ounces for a dollar and they're good. So, I love these. I'm gonna keep getting them. I hope they don't get rid of them. Please, Dollar Tree, don't get rid of these. They're, like, I was worried they were only gonna be there for the summer, but they're still here. But then summer's not technically over yet, so hopefully it stays. Um, I got four different flavors. I got Steakhouse Style Steak and Chop. I got that one. 
I got Memphis style barbecue. I'm really, really excited about that one. That one would be so good with ribs and garlic salt. And I love the containers. So after I use them, I'm gonna keep the containers. I love these. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna love these, but I do love this one. And I got another thing for the barbecue and I got this one. I had gotten one about four weeks ago and it was working perfectly. Like there was nothing wrong with it. I had used it several times at, with the barbecue and lighting up candles, but then my dog, like she, I don't know how she got, okay. I left it on top of the grill and she grabbed it and she chewed up this part. So I had to buy another one and I used it for a good amount and it was still, um, it was still working. So I got another one and these are really good. I like them. They're a dollar. I don't know how much they are at the grocery store, but I know they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so I'll get them at the Dollar Tree. Okay? Um, the next food item that I got are these Goya Palmeritas. Is that how you say it? Palmeritas. Okay. These are really good. I really love these. These are in, from in the ethnic... Um, they're not in the cookie aisle. They're in the ethnic... Uh, well, at least in my Dollar Tree, they're in the ethnic aisle of the grocery part. And these are really good. I really, really, really like these. And for a dollar, you get so many cookies. And I also decided to buy the chocolate one. I'm gonna try this one out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure they're good because I love chocolate and I love these. So they have to be good. And I will let you know, I will let you guys know down in the com down below in the comments if I end up liking them. Um, the last food item, I, I guess it's food, yeah, beverage. I got Mountain Dew, I mean, yeah, Mountain Dew Kickstart. And these, this is like um, orange soda, but with a lot of caffeine. It's like an energy drink and it's 80 calories per can. I usually drink like half of it because it's so much caffeine, it totally like, I get way too hyper and way too buzz and I usually leave like half for my boyfriend and he and I love these. These are so good. I love them and they usually sell them for $1.18 at Walmart. $1.18 or $1.28, something like that, something with an eight. But it was not a dollar. Sometimes it's a dollar, but it's not always a dollar. But I know they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So when I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'm craving for some orange soda tasting, beverage i get these because they are so good and they get you so buzzed up suddenly you feel like you can do anything like you can fly oh these are so good not good for you but i like them um the next thing i got are green bowls this is my first green um bowls I don't even have green plates yet, but we needed bowls and I decided, hey, I remember there's some green ones that I've been eyeing at the Dollar Sheet. This is the perfect time to get them. And I will slowly buy green uh, plates and green kitchen utensils and green um, kitchen towels slowly. I'm not gonna buy them all at once because I don't need them. I still have bowls and plates that are not green, but that I can still use and I don't wanna be wasteful. You know, I usually like break them or something. So I'll wait until I, I do need to get them and then I'll get them in green. So I'm so happy that the Dollar Sheet has them in green. And these are uh, pretty deep and have pretty large circumference. Uh, we use them for salad and oatmeal in the morning. I got four because breakfast, you know, oatmeal, and then for lunch and then dinner, two salads each. So these will be so useful. He, he actually told me to get four, no, six more because he's, um, we usually end up breaking one and he wants to have a backup. So he likes them a lot. He's like, oh, they're a dollar from the Dollar Tree? I was like, yeah. Can you believe that? It's really good. And it's not like, it doesn't feel cheap at all. I put them in the microwave and you know, I put them in the dishwasher, I washed them. And I mean, I was really like trying to be like rough with them and they're A plus. I like them. I love them. 
Next thing I next thing we needed was um a can opener. We bought my boyfriend bought one at Publix because we needed one to open the cat food and the wet cat food. We bought we bought this one. Well, he bought this one. I didn't buy this one. I wasn't there when he bought it. And it actually, when it's opening the can, it doesn't open it entirely. It like skips certain parts. So it'll like be open in this part, but then in this part, it won't be open. So we would actually have to run over it again to get it completely open, which is, and I'm pretty sure this wasn't a dollar. I'm pretty sure. This looks like it's, I mean, it feels really sturdy. I mean, it feels like it's really well made, but it doesn't open the can correctly. So I bought this before. It, um, I have one, um, but it's still in the sea of boxes I have in the garage that I haven't unpacked, And but we need a can opener. And I was so tired of this one that Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree can openers, and they do rust, but after like after a couple months, so I'll just get another one, you know? Like it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, and um, I went to another Dollar Tree and I saw a green one. So I think I'm gonna exchange this one. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring this one to this to that Dollar Tree and I'm gonna exchange it for the green one. Cause the one, the, the Dollar Tree I bought this one didn't have a green one. I was like, oh no, I wish, I wish. Okay, the next kitchen item I got are these Rubbermaid, like the deep ones. And this comes in a pack of two. And I already have the ones that are like these. I already have these. I got a set of two. And these, um, the Rubbermaid containers, in my opinion, are the sturdiest out of all the Dollar Tree, um, Tupperware, they sell better crocker. And I that one like doesn't feel as sturdy. So if you want one that is really sturdy, I recommend you getting the Rubbermaid. And I mean, you get a pack of two. I'd rather get the sturdier one than, I mean, it wasn't so bad, but you can actually tell the difference though. But I like the Rubbermaid. So I got two, I got two of those. Okay, so we're done with the kitchen stuff. Okay, um, I got one cleaning item. And I like the other one, the one that says like, the one that just has like a tropical, let me see if I have it. I threw away the box. But I like the one that's like the tropical one, not this one. This one is okay. Like it's not, it doesn't have that strong of a scent as the other one from my last haul but they didn't have it. They only had this one. And I actually took another trip just for this one, just for the tropical, like the one, the other one, the, with the green, the green stripe right here. And they still didn't have it. I'm gonna have to go to another Dollar Tree because I love that one. That one is so strong, but this one's okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, next thing. Okay, um, okay, so, this thing that I got are flip-flops. And I have really small feet, so I got the kids one. They sell these at Walmart too. They have the same flip-flops, but I'm, the ones from Walmart are like really wide. So it's obvious that they're kids flip-flops, and I don't like that. But the Dollar Tree ones are narrow, like adult flip-flops. So I like the Dollar Tree ones. The Walmart ones are a bit more sturdier, but I don't want to look like a kid, you know, like, I don't look, want to look like I'm wearing kid flip-flops. So I like these. I mean, they're not as sturdy, but they do, you know, they're okay. I mean, I only need them to like uh, walk around in the lawn or giving my, giving um, my dog a bath or washing the car. And I actually got two of them. I'm wearing one right now. I got the green one. <laughs> I got green and this one is more like coral. It's showing up red on the camera, but it's actually coral. So I got the green one and the coral one. I like them. Um, I mean, they're not as sturdy. I'm not expecting them to last for more than like two, not even maybe one month, but it's a dollar. I mean, I'd rather wear this one than the Walmart ones. Okay, the next, actually, I still had one more kitchen thing. Um, I got this, uh, like, garbage 
rubber band to keep the your, the garbage bag in on the garbage can. And I really like this. This is like a huge like hair tie. See, it even has that thing, and it works. Like I like it because um, when I'm like cutting up or I'm about to throw something, and I realize that the garbage can is like like a little bit flipped over, and then I throw it in there, and it ends up going instead into the garbage bag, it goes into, um, in the side, into the garbage can. And then I have to clean the garbage can. But this keeps it right on the garbage can so I don't have to, you know, clean up more stuff. So this is, I actually like this. I think I'm gonna go buy another one just, just in case this one breaks, then I'll have another one. Next thing that I got are these sunglasses. I don't, you, I, I've never bought sunglasses at the Dollar Tree. Never, never. But then I saw these and I was like, hey, I kind of like how they're pointy at the end. And I wonder if they're going to look nice. And I tried them on and I was like, hey, I look pretty cool. I have to get these. Even my boyfriend was like, you look pretty cool in those sunglasses. And I'm like, I know, right? I have to get them. And... You can't, I mean, from when I put them on, I can't even tell they're a dollar, you know? And I just, I just wear them when um, I'm driving and um, I live in Florida, the sun's always out and it's blind, blinding. The sun is blinding and you always need them. And right now I don't need glasses and my sister told me to buy sunglasses. I have to wear them to protect my eyes if I want them to last and it makes sense. So I got these and it said it was had like UV protection. I'm not really sure if that's true. There's no way for me to prove it, but that's what it says. I like them. I like that they look so cool. I look super cool. And if they break, they're only a dollar. And if my, my dog eats them, they're only a dollar. And if I lose them, they're only a dollar. I can go back to the Dollar Tree and get another one. They had, um, they had a black one. And they had like a lighter brownish, a lighter brown. This one is more like, it has a red toned, uh, red, it's a brown with a red tone. And there's another one that is brown with a yellow tone to it. So I got the, I got this one. Yup, I love that one. And the next thing I got is this bright blue. And it says that it was, um, I mean, I was thinking it was the same as um, uh, DNG uh, light blue, and I actually have that fragrance. I don't have it with me. I left it at my mom's house, but I know that smell. I wore it like all throughout high school, all throughout college, and I know that smell. And I, when I um, sprayed this, I was like, oh my gosh, it does. I mean, the light blue has a little bit more like clean, uh, clean scent to it. This one is a little bit more like, flowery like uh the light blue is more like citrusy there you go the light blue has a little bit more citrusy scent to it and this one has a little bit more rosy flowery yeah so i was like okay it's a little bit off but it's i mean i knew that it was trying to copy light blue so i was like okay cool yeah i'm gonna spray this in the guest in the guest bedroom and i'm gonna spray this in my car i'm gonna spray this on the towels and like I like it because I'm not like it'll it's um it reminds me of light blue but it is not as expensive so I was like a dollar yes yes please so I really love this and I will be getting this again the next thing oh okay so I saw these I saw these and it was the very last one and of course since it since it was the only one I had to get it I was like oh what? Everybody's getting it? I have to get in it too. It is the April Bath and Shower Foaming Acne Scrub. Um, I do get acne um, when I um, go running. I'm not really sure whether it like increases my hormones or maybe it's because I get really sweaty. And I do wash my face after I go running, but I still get some acne. I don't get as much as I did, but I still get it. But I was really um, curious because it looks like it has some like exfoliating beads on it and it's only a dollar and it says it has salicylic acid 2%. So I'm really curious and I'm so lucky that I got the very last one and I will let you guys know if it's good. I, I like the packaging. I like that it's pink, 
pink always gets me, so. Okay, um, I've been eating, we've been eating, um, making our, when we eat salad, we make our own vinaigrette. Like we put like red wine vinegar and olive oil and all like spices on it. And I noticed that my tea started to feel really sensitive because of the um, acid and in, in the vinegar. And I was like, oh, I wonder why. Like I started like, if I started to whistle, I could kind of feel, you know, sensitivity in my teeth. So I saw this. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it'll work because I know Sensodyne is um, pretty pricey at Walgreens. And of course, before I buy Sensodyne, I buy this for the Dollar Tree because I love the Dollar Tree. And I was like, okay, no, nah, I'll try the one, the, to the sensitive <coughs> one toothpaste at the Dollar Tree. And I've used it for about four days. And I actually noticed that my teeth aren't as sensitive. So I'm going to use it for about a month and tell you, you know, if it, you know, if it actually improved the sensitive sensitivity in my teeth, but four days and I can actually tell the difference. So I'm pretty happy. And it says that it has whitened, it whitens your teeth too. So I'm pretty happy. And they also ha have another one, you know, another to another toothpaste in the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try this one, that one after I try this one. So try this one first, you know, get my opinion of this, whether I love it. At the moment, I like it. I don't, I'm not sure if I love it. I guess I do love it because it's not, my teeth aren't sensitive anymore. So this works. So if you have sensitive teeth, try this first before you buy Sensodyne. Um, okay, I have, only have a couple more things. Okay, so I buy the Crest White Strips, the one hour one, and it's pretty expensive. Like 50 bucks, 50 bucks for, I think four treatments. And sometimes there's like a $10 coupon, so it's like $40. So I was buying that and I like it, but then I saw these and I was like, oh, a dollar. I mean, I'm not expecting much, but I mean, if they do, okay. So maybe like in between the Crest uh, white strips, I'll use these. I haven't tried them. I'm really curious, but I hope that they prove me wrong because if they do, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so happy. Um, the next thing I got is the Spider-Man antibacterial wipes. I got these for my boyfriend because he's very, um, a little bit OCD. He always likes to like, if anything's sticky, okay, I'm not very OCD. You know, I'm not, I'll grab one thing and then grab another and I will leave something with a little bit of residue and he'll be like, you left this all sticky and I'd have to like, you know, wipe it or clean it. You know, I'm not very, I don't know. I don't even know how we get along <laughs> because I am not, I'm not like that at all. But he, he loves Spider-Man. He loves Batman the most, but he also likes Spider-Man. So I got him this one. I thought it would be really cute and for him to take to work, you know, to remind him of me and how much I love him. So I got him this and I got him another set of his batteries. Okay, so I told on uh, my last haul, I got these. I actually got two. He saw these in the kitchen um, counter and he grabbed them. I, he grabbed them and I was like, oh, I haven't even done the haul yet, but I let him have it. Um, so I got two of these and he said that they didn't last, but that's because he left his mouse on. So that re doesn't really count. So I told him this time, can you keep track of um, how long the batteries last? So I can give them like an estimation, you know, like, of how long the batteries last on your on his ma uh, com computer mouse at work, and he says yes. He'll let me know how how long they last, and I'll leave a comment in the bottom how you know how good they are. I mean, he says that it lasted pretty long, even though he left it on. So, okay. So I only got a couple of things, and these are like dry erase items, and I ended up loving this one and as you can see i have him in my kitchen uh, in my um, refrigerator you see i got a green let me get the green one and the black one okay 
So I got the green one. And it's, I love it, I love it. And then this one, okay, warning with the, okay, it's the first time out of, I tried the black one first and I was like, hey, how come it's not as bright? Why is it like that? Okay, so I'll write my dog's name first. And I was like, oh, weird. And you see that, it's very light. I was like, wait, why is it like that? Is there something wrong with it? with the uh, marker is it dried up but if you let it dry uh, dry like for about a minute or two or two it'll actually get brighter so i'll show you so we'll let that dry okay and then the green one comes with a black marker and it's pretty good I just, I mean, I'm a little worried that the marker will run out and then, you know, like I'm not going to have a matching green marker on it, but I'll end up having, I'll just buy an Expo um, dry erase marker. But these are really good and I like that the marker is not so thick. So the writing is not like ginormous. I don't really like the thick markers. I like the thin ones. Okay, so I got, I got three of the black ones and as you can see i got okay let me get it see how this one is really bright well if you let this dry after a while it will turn that bright i mean not right now oh that's taking a while but it will get this bright okay so i got those i got four of those and i got the green one i think i'm gonna get another green one just in case something happens to the green one because i really like it and i like how pretty it is in my refrigerator okay i got these dry erase and i really like them um okay i opened this one and i used it and i used a red marker and i noticed that it stained after you know, I, re I erased it. I was like, oh no, no, it's stained. And it really, really bugged me. So what I did was um, I wiped it off with bleach and it came off. So I was like, okay. But so um, I was a little worried that it was going to um, destroy the surface of the erase board. So what I did was uh, after I wipe it with bleach, I like wipe it several times, you know, with like a, a cloth to make sure that the bleach is off. But it removed the stain. So if you guys have this and you know, you notice that it's stained, use bleach. And it actually comes off completely. Like I used green marker and it's stained. And I used red marker and it's stained. So now I'm just gonna use black. It hasn't stained with the black yet. So I'm gonna stick with the black because I like how the pattern is. See how pretty it is? I love that. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. Okay. And another one that I got is this calendar, dry erase calendar. It has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I really like this because this one, okay, these didn't have a magnet on it. But this has a magnet on it. So I'm going to put it on my refrigerator and maybe put it beside the dry erase boards. And I can write what I need to do on you know an overall like summary of my week i mean i can't write much on it but pretty much like the basic stuff so yeah i really like that one that's my dollar tree haul guys it wasn't very exciting i didn't get like a lot of new stuff i got the things that i needed since like the last haul i did. i bought so much and i wanted to try so many things that this this time i was like okay i'll just buy the things that i do need and I know for sure that I will use. And I wasn't in I wasn't in an experimenting mood, so I pretty much stuck to like the stuff that I've already bought or I knew already worked. So I hope you guys liked it. I know it wasn't as exciting as my last one, but I hope it helped you guys, you know, with some of the things like you know, like if you needed a can opener or a Tupperware, get the Rubbermaid. Don't get the Betty Crocker because it's not as, you know, unless you like that, you like it that thin. Um, 
Yeah, and the, the slippers are not as bad for, you know, if you guys have kids, it's really good because I remember as a kid, I would always lose my flip-flops, but my grandma, she would, you know, it wasn't cheap, you know, back then, and we didn't, you know, we didn't shop at the Dollar Tree, so, you know, buy your kids uh, flip-flop at the Dollar Tree, and if they lose them, it was only a dollar. I hope you guys have a great day. I really, really love doing Dollar Tree hauls. And I hope you guys come back and see more of my videos. I will be doing um, my grocery hauls. I, um, I, I'm gonna do Publix, Publix. I'm gonna do Walmart. I'm gonna do Aldi, Winn-Dixie, and what else? I'm missing something. Oh, I'm also going to do drugstore, um, CVS, and Walgreens. Um, I coupon, and I like to find deals for things that my family needs, and and also what my sister needs, and what my brother needs, and what my mom and my dad needs. I don't like it when they purchase things for, for a full price, and I'm like, why did you buy it? Why did you buy it for that much? You didn't, you know, like I like to help them save money. I don't know. So when they come to my house or when I come visit them, I always bring them tons of stuff. I bring them dish detergent, laundry detergent, toilet paper, um, paper towels. And I'm the go-to person in my house, you know, to get the essentials. Please come see me again. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.